The Forgotten Faces. That is how some students in Baltimore describe themselves, talented, creative, and unacknowledged. And that is where Wide Angle Youth Media stepped in. We serve over 400 youth every year through photography, design, radio, digital storytelling, videography classes. After the death of Freddie Gray, as the violence, the destruction, the show of force were all unfolding, Wide Angle Youth Media gathered its cameras and took its young people outside. We started documenting the protests and we really incorporated that narrative into all of the work that we've done over this past year. That work culminated this week in a new book, a collection of 120 images from the protests, but also the portraits and quotes of Baltimore's youth as they see themselves. A lot of the rowdy stuff triggered a lot of more positive things with people really coming out like, wow, I need to say something about this, you know, and show people that Baltimore isn't just roughness, it's also a lot of uplifting things. 16-year-old Jeffrey Obike worked on this book project, funded by a $14,000 grant from the Baltimore Community Foundation. After more than a dozen photo workshops across the city and curating hundreds of images, the book sets out to show Baltimore's youth as resilient and hopeful kids with big dreams. It's really this just collection of stories that we hope provide a really meaningful and powerful landscape of what it means to be a young person in Baltimore City. When they show the negative pictures of Baltimore, I like just look at it like, I know that happened, we all know that happened, it's over with. Nigeria Randolph is a 12th grade poet. She showed me her part of a web video project accompanying the book called This is Baltimore. She talks about her experience last April 27th as she saw protesters filling the streets. But she's also become an ambassador of sorts and wants to share more projects like this. For the youth of Baltimore, I think we're like the most creative people ever. We're so talented. There's so much history, so much music, uh, food, things to do, things to see in the city that people really need to know about. Jeffrey now does some professional camera work thanks to what he's learned at Wide Angle Youth Media, setting the example of what Baltimore youth can do with opportunity and showing what This Is Baltimore means to him. I think This Is Baltimore means, despite what you may have heard, we're proud of our home and this is who we are. In Baltimore, Aaron Gilchrist, News 4.